Hi everyone, welcome to Fast Home Brew. Today I'm making one of my all-time favourite recipes, which is a porter based on Cooper's English Bitter Kit, which is why it's EB Porter. Yes, so here's one I made earlier. It's amazing. Check it out. Look at that. Does not look good? Uh, of course it does. And yes, yes, winner. This is one of my favourite recipes. Even the dog likes it. So, what makes it? Well, there's a general recipe that you can use for this one. I've I've made six of them in total now. Um, uh, it starts with, of course, the English bitter kit. Then on top of that, you're going to use one to one and a half kilos of dry malt extract or the liquid equivalent, and maybe 200 grams of brown sugar. You need some specialty grains, which will include chocolate malt, maybe two or three hundred grams, and either either pale or, or full blown if you um, depending on the color that you want you also want 50 to uh, maybe 150 grams of roast barley although 150 will be quite a lot and 150 to way up to 500 grams of crystal depending on what you like and maybe even some smoked malt uh, some people because this is a very popular recipe some people add some hops to it so uh, as an English style you'd use maybe 30 grams of uh, Fuggles or East Kent Goldings for 10 minutes and then the yeast you can use any English ale yeast so maybe Windsor or Nottingham SO4 or whatever you want it's all good so here we go I've got my English bitter can got 1.5 kilos of light malt I'm going to use 200 grams of that brown sugar and in here I've got 100 grams of roast, 250 grams of pale chocolate, and 150 grams of crystal. And there's my Nottingham yeast this time. So, it all looks good. Right, my water's at 70 degrees. Time to start steeping the grains. In it all goes, into the little bag, and into the thing. And that's going to go in there for half an hour, or as it turns out, much longer, because I sort of ran out of time. So, start sand into the thing to sanitize it all and uh, shaking it around and all the usual drill cleaning everything and sanitizing it all and getting it all good yep there it goes now my cans let's get the I'll put the yeast in my collection of yeast that I don't use get all the labels off and get them in hot water to make it so it's nice and easy to pour them both there they go yes get the lids off and oh, look at that and it goes into the fermenter yep all good that's the light malt and fill it with hot water and leave it a little bit and then definitely pick it up with your hand no don't pick it up with your hand it's way too hot use a tea towel pour it i'm just transferring it into the other one and then into the fermenter we go so that's all of the fermentable stuff or is it no there's the sugar as well because i i've forgotten the sugar entirely before i ended up trying to prime with it and that was a disaster so don't forget the brown sugar if you're using brown sugar in this. That's a caramelly flavor. It's very nice. Okay, this is all done now. So, um, time to sparge, I guess. Yep. Spudgy, spudge, spudge, spudge. Spudgy, spudgeroo. Spudgy, spudge. And back on the heat. So, I boil it for 15 minutes. Uh, and all the goodness goes in. I'm not putting hops in this time. So, I'm just going to put some put it in the sink with some cold water running around and stir it a bit to try and bring the temperature down as quickly as I can so that I can get it into the fermenter and in it all goes wowee and stir it around and we're nearly done actually fill it with water there it is and um, Nottingham yeast yeah cool so the one you saw me having at the start of the video was about nine months old now it's amazing so you really got to give this one time. It's summer now. I'm making this one for next winter. But anyway, that's all I've got time for. So thanks for watching.